Well, YouTube, we got her stuffed in there. Um, but we're not quite done yet. We're not ready to fire it up. When you uh, rebuild a motor, you know, obviously like I did, I showed you guys, you know, in the past videos, how I lubed everything up good as I put it in. But you still have a tendency for the oil to wash off, you know, while it's, uh, you know, as, as it sits there, if you don't, you know, get after it right away or whatever. And so you always want to prime a rebuilt motor before you ever fire it up. Before you ever fire, you know, you make sure that you're getting oil through, that you got no blockage, and uh, that your oil pump's working right, etc., etc., etc. So, I got uh, uh, six or seven quarts or whatever it is of 1540 Rotella and a half quart of uh, engine oil break in additive. I got it filled with water, so that should be good. Um, yeah, it looks like that's sealed up all right. I'm going to double check the radiator. And uh, I'll show you guys how to prime up a motor here. Now on a Ford motor like this, what you've got is you've got a shaft that goes down in below the distributor that uh, cogs into the oil pump. And then as the distributor turns, it turns that shaft which drives your oil pump. So the easiest way that I've found to do it with Fords is uh, you know with five sixteenths or three eighths or quarter inch or whatever it happens to be. This one happens to be five sixteenths, so I put a five sixteenth socket on the end of my extension, and I'll use uh, an adapter for my drill like so. And so I just stick the drill on here. Got Kaylee in the cab. She's going to watch the oil pressure gauge that I just put in and make sure that the oil pressure comes up. So then you just key it on there. And go ahead and turn this out. Got to make sure you're going the right way, though, and I'm not. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to double check, make sure which way my my rotor goes in the Chilton's book, so I make sure I get it right. Uh, here's Dodge stuff. Here's Ford stuff. Oh, okay. I was going the wrong way, so I was pumping oil back, but. Uh, Okay, so here we go. We'll gut it right now. You can hear the, the drill drag down. Got oil pressure? Is that 50? Okay, tell me what it peaks out at. What's it peaking at? 55? 65? Good deal. 65 pounds oil pressure? Well, show me where it was on the gauge. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Good deal. Means we got good oil pressure. Really good oil pressure. That's a, that's a good thing. So you want to wait a little longer after you run it. You know, after you run it once, make sure you got oil pressure, and then run it for a little bit longer. And what that'll do is it'll get all the oil. Make sure you get it into your rocker arms, into your cam. All the all the lifters will pump up then, and everything will just just kind of come to right um, after you pump it up a bit. So you want to make sure you do that. And then when we get all said and done pumping it up good, and I'm satisfied, then we will. Uh, at that point, we will drop the distributor in. I'll show you guys how to drop the distributor in, time it up, and then we'll fire it up and uh, do our okay. cam break. So now we're ready to stab the distributor in there. Now what's important to do here is when you drop it in, you got to make sure you get it in there in such a way where where it will actually cog into where the uh, where it will actually cog into where the uh, the oil pump shaft is. You can actually see how it slid down in there like that. If I might have been a cog off, then it might not have done that so well. Okay, now for the next thing. Now we know that this, that this one right here is gonna be number one, number one cylinder. So we're gonna pull this cap off. Okay, and then the idea is you gotta pick this up 
and try and get it and it might take a couple tries but and as you go down you know you don't want to point it directly at whatever it happens to be that you're whatever number it is that you're shooting for because it'll have a tendency to uh, it'll have a tendency to rotate one direction or the other reason for that is that it's got spiral gears on there and as it as it cogs into where where the camshaft where it gears up to the camshaft it'll rotate you know so we've got it pretty close to where we want it right here and what I did before I even put the motor in I put I uh, rolled the motor over to top dead center or not top dead center but eight degrees before top dead center which is how this engine is timed on the number one cylinder at the top of the compression stroke. So we should be sitting if we line this this up directly up straight in line with where the rotor is now we should actually be almost perfect because I've already timed up the motor so we know exactly where to do it. Um, basically if you think about it in, it's really quite simple. Basically what you're doing is you're rolling the number one cylinder over to where it's going to fire at. And I didn't explain myself very well, but you roll the number one cylinder over to where it's going to fire at. Which in this particular case, it's eight degrees before top dead center. Then you just line up your rotor with, like on this cap, it says number one right there. And you just line up your rotor with that when you put it in. Making sure that you get it cogged in to uh, to the uh, the um, oil pump because if you don't then you got troubles I've actually done that before and fired up a motor and and uh, toasted it before I even had a chance to run it and that made me sad very sad so we're trying to get this just right right now okay so we've got it where I want it now we want to lock it down not not super tight, but tight enough to where we know that it's not going to go anywhere. Um, we can find the right bolt here. Here's a hold down tab, but it would seem that my bolt for it has gone AWOL. I think this one will work anyways. Okay, now we don't want to lock it down. Like I said, you don't want to lock it down real super tight. But uh, you want to lock it down tight enough so that you're sure that it's not going to go anywhere. You know, so you, so wherever you set it, it stays there. Otherwise, you'll lose your setting, and that's not good because then you got to find it all over again. So, I'm getting there like that. Oh, geez, I need to have tinier hands. hard to get into some of these places. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to get that tightened down and get my vacuum advance hose hooked up and, uh, and then we'll get back to it.